Players improve their reaction time in this game we call Belly Up. Line up your team and tell everyone to lie down on their bellies. You stand about 20 feet away with a ball. Whether you're playing with softballs or baseballs, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Roll the ball towards the first player in line. Ready, up! They immediately pop up, charge the ball, field it, and throw it back to you. Work your way down the line and be sure to mix in a few pop-ups just to keep them on the toes of their cleats. Up! Oh, yeah! Dre, you got it! Oh, ho, ho! And the roll! Some players may jump the gun and stand before you call up. Not so fast. No, not yet! I gotta see up, buddy! Here we go, ready, up! Remind them to wait for the signal. After all, in the actual game, the first step to fielding the ball is seeing where it's going. Everybody in! Yay! M-O-J-O! M-O-J-O! Players learn to read and field grounders in this game we call Lazy Catch. Divide your team into groups of five. You grab a ball and stand 15 feet away from the first player in line. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, this game is the same. Here's how it looks. All five players get down on both knees without resting on their heels. They place the fingertips of their gloves on the ground as you roll a grounder to them one at a time. Once they field it, players must throw the ball back to you, all without standing up or fully sitting down. Work your way down the line, then make your way back this time rolling backhanded grounders. You want to see it go into the glove, close and lift. All right, here we go. This is what it's called a backhand. Give players a point every time they cleanly field the ball. Then challenge them to beat their score in the next round. Some players may copy their favorite pros and field grounders with one hand. Remind them that the only way to make it to the show is by using both hands and snapping down on the ball like an alligator for four-handed catches and scooping the ball on plays to their backhand. Like that. Great job, Bojo! Batters turn ground balls and pop-ups into line drives in this game we call Tea Time. Divide the group into pairs lined up outside the batting cage. Within each pair, name a hitter and a feeder. The first team steps up to the tee in the cage with their helmets on. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. After the feeder places a ball on the tee and steps away, the hitter takes a controlled level swing, hitting a line drive right through the box. Oh boy. After each swing, the feeder places another ball on the tee, always making sure to stay a safe distance away when the hitter is up to bat. Boom, I'll take that. Anything on the ground, on the line. When the bucket is empty, both players retrieve all the balls before switching positions. More experienced players might ask why they're not facing live pitching. Remind them that even major leaguers make time for some T-work. Work on your balance, on your finish, right there. It's the best way to refine their swing without the pressure of pitch recognition and selection they can focus on proper form and swing away. That a boy, nice swing right there, very nice. Good finish. Players are in a literal league of their own in this game we call selfies. Spread players out at a safe distance from each other. Everyone gets a ball and a glove. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, players throw the ball to themselves and practice catching it. You're gonna throw the ball into your glove, working on hand-eye coordination. First, they toss it directly into their glove, like this. Then, they throw it into the air in front of them, but not above their heads. They should catch it with their gloves facing the sky, like this. Good job. Oh, no, just right in front of you. Let it fall into your glove. Watch it go in your glove. Finally, they throw a pop-up and catch it, making sure to turn their hand in the proper direction as they track the ball into their glove, like that. Challenge them to catch as many balls in a row as they can without dropping one. Then, see if they can beat their streak next time. Good job, good job. Remember the golden rule of selfies. If you toss it, it will fall. So remind newbies to protect their noses. Encourage them to keep their glove in front of their face. That's the best way to catch the ball and protect themselves if they miss. One, two, three, go, go!
players race their way around the diamond in this game we call Base Path Relay. This group over here, you're going to second base, all right? This group here, you're staying here. Divide players into two equal teams, then divide each team in half. One group from each team lines up at home base. The others line up at second. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Ready, go! On your call, the first two players lined up at home start running to second, one by way of first base and another by way of third. When they reach their destination, the runners high-five the teammate waiting for them, who takes off in the opposite direction, sprinting to tag the next teammate in line at home. Go, 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 wait till you tag your hand, go, go. The first team to complete all its legs of the relay wins the race. You got a good, good encouragement. Remember, there's a difference between being fast and quick. Some players are born fast, but anyone can learn to be quick if they round the bags correctly, keeping their heads down, arms pumping, and foot on the corner of the bag. Let's go! Yay! Great effort! Good job! Get that ball off my yard. This is Cleanup Crew. Use cones to create two adjoining rectangles, one zone in the infield dirt and the other in the outfield grass. Then place an equal number of practice balls in each. Finally, divide your group in half, with one team assigned to each zone. Here's how it looks. Ready, set, go! On your call, both teams try to clear all the balls out of their area. The only way to do that is to throw them overhanded into the other team's area. Three. After a minute, call time. One. Whichever team has fewer balls in their area is the winner. 15, 19, you guys won! Young players especially will love the chaos that Cleanup Crew creates, but it's actually a low-pressure way for them to get comfortable throwing overhand. Don't worry about using proper form just yet, just as long as the ball makes it to the other side. One, two, three, four, Infielders practice two ways to throw and catch in one game. This is over-under. Divide players into pairs spaced about 15 feet apart and give each pair a ball. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Within each pair, one player will throw overhand and the other underhand. On your call, Are you guys ready, set, go! They throw the ball back and forth. No matter how they're sending their partner the ball, the thrower must make eye contact with their teammate. After 10 throws, players swap roles so everyone gets a chance to try both styles. Pairs get a point for every ball they catch. The team with the highest score after 20 throws each wins. Whether it's on a fielder's choice or while turning two, infielders may not always be able to feed the ball cleanly to their teammate. This game helps players prepare for all possible throws. One, two, three. Find out who has an arm and who has a laser in this game we call Bullseye. Hang two hula hoops on a fence about five feet apart. Then use four cones to make a small square about 20 to 30 feet away. Finally, place a bucket of balls in the middle. Then set three balls at each of the four cones. Whether you're playing with softballs or baseballs, this game is the same. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two equal teams each lined up at the far cones. On your call, the first players in line step up to the cone in front of them. Players take turns throwing three balls at their hoop. While they're throwing, the player on deck should grab the next three balls so they're ready to go. Throwers get two points for hitting the fence and three points for hitting inside the target. The team with the most points once everyone's gotten a turn wins the round. All right, here we go. Three, two, Wow, Brooke, six. Players love any chance to compete, and some friendly competition between teammates is healthy. Just don't let them get distracted from using proper form. Throwing elbow held up in the air with their glove pointed on target, and let it fly. One, two, three, Bojo! Beginners get comfortable on the field in this low stakes, high fun scrimmage that we call blast ball. Divide your team in half, 
with one group up at bat and the other in the field, without gloves. You'll pitch for both teams, but instead of a metal bat, you'll use a plastic one. And instead of a softball or baseball, you'll use a practice ball. Here's how it looks. The two groups scrimmage, like any softball or baseball game, with a few changes. First, no strikeouts. Let each hitter keep swinging until they make contact. Second, an inning ends only when every hitter has had a chance to bat. And lastly, if a ball lands in the outfield grass, it's a home run. Yeah! Run, run, run! How far are you gonna run? Whichever team has the most runs after three innings is named Blast Ball World Champions. Newbies will love the chance to compete, and the larger ball helps them feel safe while familiarizing themselves with the rules of the game. Blast Ball may look a little different than a typical day at the ballpark, but make no mistake, crossing home is just as sweet. It's the perfect way to cool off after a hot day. This is Water Balloon Derby. Line hitters up in foul territory. You kneel to the side of home plate with a bucket of water balloons. One player at a time steps up to the plate and gets in their batting stance. Here's how it looks. Soft toss a balloon into the strike zone and prepare to get wet. The hitter takes a swing at the balloon aiming for a watery blast. Play until everyone has had a turn to get as soaked as possible. Some players may get too excited and swing wildly at the balloon. Who can blame them? Remind them that the best way to get a big explosion is with good balance and a level swing. Now someone get them a towel! 